chest because of Christmas, you don't need a burger. And you all I want for Christmas. You all I want for Christmas. You all. What's up with y'all, man? It's Blake Vlogs, and I'm back, and I'm here with King Sid. Everything you want to know. Yeah. Geo, Bree, Diamond, and Lady Scorpio. I don't know how everything gonna go. Usually they do this every year. In December, they start talking about people that they was getting in, like, interactions with, you know. Yeah, so... Right now, we're going to get into this video. Like this video, comment, and subscribe. Comment, let me know what you want me to do next. Follow all social media in the description now. So, what period has had a big impact on your channel? What's up with you and Lady Scorpio? All right, so did you and Bree talk after the breakup? So, so would you ever take Diamond back? when she gets everything back together. Seriously. What was the difference between the relationship with Bree and Diamond? Did you and Gio ever make up or try to make up? Oh, shit. It's your boy, <laughs> King said, and all that I saw that fight. Video. That was crazy. Them niggas was man, beefing. I'm like, dog, I was just watching them. another video. And hey, they got man, the fighting. So back over here with another Really fist two, fighting. Two, you feel me? Like, damn, they was rules. It's crazy they be. Just to get y'all closer to me more. So y'all can know what's happening throughout my life. But basically, episode one went well. Y'all wanted it to be longer. Y'all had more questions. So we're going to finish the questions on this episode. And look, man, y'all go ahead and comment anything that we don't ask. So we can continue it on episode three. We good. That's good. The wind blowing. What's the first question, bro? <laughs> all right. So first of all, congratulations on two million fam. Appreciate it, man. Hey, thank y'all for subscribing to the channel. I got on red because you know YouTube, but. <laughs> okay, okay. So how does it feel to hit two million? I mean, I think hitting two this two mil it, it feels better than the first one because. Yeah, I don't, I, like to be honest to me it's like this two mil I had to kind of like do it all myself basically it was no other creator side by me and I just felt like throughout the first year it was just like yeah I got a million but a lot of people thinks it was like a handout like oh people this and that and this and that and I just feel like that's not what it was you feel me I feel like yeah, I put in my work it's really a, a, a I should get struggle. credit my work so you know doubling back is like straight me, hustle man. It's trust like, the process so I feel like this is like very but this one's good I ain't gonna ask good for that but I'm gonna double this one tonight <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what creators had a big impact on your channel? Oh. Do, what? After the mill? After the first mill? Or throughout? Because we could start out. We could start out from the very beginning. How you want to do that? Do that. Okay, bet. So we're going to start out from the very beginning. So, um, creators, you got. I'm, the first person I'm going to say is Geo, Nate, and then you know throughout then we, we we could go to diamond and there was other creators as well you feel me throughout that year but i guess the second year when i worked alone like people that was actually very 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 good to me was probably destroying a funny mic like destroying ain't gonna lie bro behind like off the cameras and stuff that's somebody who we actually talked to you feel me i learned from you know it, it, yeah and, it, this, and huh? What's this gonna say? This after the first, like the first. This one? this after this after the first mail, like and then, and then I ain't gonna lie, funny Mike. This this y'all don't know this story, but the with him, the Smasher Pass. You know that's my most viewed video right now. I, I ain't gonna lie, it was a YouTuber's version. You feel me? So I told a whole bunch of people to go, and it was in Texas. So, look, you remember this, right? On the plane, he said, bro, you should ask Funny Mike to come in the video. And I said, nah, I ain't gonna ask him, you feel me? Because he's doing his own thing, you feel me? I don't really like to, you know, tell people, like, I don't really, I don't know, you feel me? So I did not ask him, but tell me how when we landed, 
I get a DM from him. I'm like, no, what the heck? So he ended up being in the video. I didn't even ask you for me. So that was like very, very, that was, that was good. I ain't gonna cap. I fuck with him. <laughs> Shit, that video was my most viewed that. video right now. Go on my channel, you will see that. I might need to that that, that reaction is my most viewed. <laughs> what you should have asked me? Don't ask me that thing too crazy. Don't get me out of my element. <laughs> what is your love language? I still don't have to try it. <laughs> but I could say with my love language, it's kind of more affectionate. I like people that like, you know, show love back. Like if I'm showing you love, you feel me? You should show love back. So it's just like, it shouldn't be one-sided. Oh, so you like, okay, so you like that touchy-touchy type. Yeah, I like, I like when, yeah, I like when girls touch me and shit, you feel me? Like, <laughs> not inappropriate, I'm just saying like, you feel me? Like, like they fuck with you, like type okay, shit. Okay, so you, you better off like, okay, I like the feeling better than you. Hearing it type shit. Yeah, I like I like to feel it better. It's like I know you really I don't know, bro. Like if you really like you You'll know feel it. Man, You'll like, feel me, the vibe. My hair or it just shows that you really fought with me or that you like comfortable around me. That's just what I feel like. I don't know about y'all. <laughs> the joy don't fail. <laughs> <laughs> We about to get deep into some love questions. He said he's gonna save the harder ones for the ending, so yeah. we're gonna see how this going. But I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Thank you for that two middle. All right. Mm. We here. We all here. All I right. need to get my earrings, man. It's been a minute. Mm -hmm. Been a long time. Right, so I just ain't wanna buy none. What's up with you and Lady Scorpio? Oh, you going to start off like that. Why are you asking me that, though? Because the pictures or because y'all see this together? Yeah, I, 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 see, I see pictures of you guys together and shit. But I know I ain't going to lie. You got a lot of relationships with a lot of females. No, nah, but with her, it, it's none like that, you feel me? Like, that's just my friend, like my dog. Like, you know, she came down here for business, you feel me? We were, we did our little videos that y'all definitely got to watch because I ain't going to lie, it's out the roof, bro. <laughs> So that's just really what it is, bro. I'm just kind of focused on content right now. I know I said I had girlfriends last episode, but still, regardless that fact, we just hit two mil. So, ton of vision. Yeah, my focus right now, so man. Take a break off that love, love side real quick. Okay, what you gonna ask that? I got, I, I got, a, I got a question for you. Mm. Did you and Gio ever make up or try to make up? Good question. Um, I tried to make up, I ain't gonna lie. Like, it, it's kind of a funny story because this is how it happened. Basically, I was on my way home and by my house, you feel me? It was a barbershop. And basically, I went to the barbershop and Jill was there on the chair. So when I walked in and stuff, I, I walked in and stuff and, and somebody said my name as soon as I walked in. They said, Sid. And then the barber that was cutting Geo hair is the barber that cuts my hair, you feel me? So they looked my way. And when I walked in, I ain't gonna lie, I shook my hand that, that told me Sid. And then I, I shook my barber hand and I put my hand out to Geo to shake my hand up to shake his hand. And he just like, he was on the chair just like this getting a haircut. I, I ain't making this up, I'm just telling y'all, like I tried, but look, he just looked at me like this and left me hanging fam like he did not shake my hand so i went like this to his knee i said all right I just, you feel me and i sat down and i waited but i don't know fam so he, what did everybody say I, these niggas is gay for beefing and where they was doing numbers no i ain't gonna lie i'm gonna tell you what happened i i, I kind of took it personal like you just left me hanging so it's just like I'ma tell you, I did some, I did some petty, fam. I told my other friends to come to the barber shop. Well, like if you're not gonna shave my hand, you want to be petty. I'm gonna be petty too. So I told Nate, I I'm told, gonna call some people to come like, shake my hand. <laughs> like what you mean? He sat there, well, and he just felt uncomfortable. And then I ain't gonna lie, if we didn't, we didn't go there to hit him and jump him, no none of that. 
we just like, I just, okay, you don't want to see us. Now you're going to see us. You feel me? Because we try to just make peace. Like, you feel me? I like to make peace, bro. That's one thing about me. But if another person declines that, it's just like, damn, it's fuck me. So it's, I guess it's fuck you. Yeah. But. That's true. So do you feel like putting your pride aside is like another part of like, another I mean, definitely, bro. But it's like pride is the devil. And that's what y'all got to understand is just that. If you don't put your pride aside, like, look look at how Kanye and Drake, you see how they, like, you feel me, they put their pride aside, this and that. It's just, like, I feel like if if, if we could we could have done that, things could have been, like, different, you feel me? I ain't gonna care, like, you feel me? We could have been superstars. Yeah. <laughs> but look, this is... Talk exactly that shit, like. too. Talk, too. It's I feel you, though. Talking to him, you feel me? I would, I would have talked to him, but... Y'all gotta understand if if I can go talk to my exes again and this and that, why can't I, you know, go talk to bro again? You feel me? But he's the one that closed the door. I ain't closed the door, so it's that pride. Well, that's what I'm telling you. Cause look, the girls, you feel me? They don't really got too much pride, so they gonna talk to you again. But it's like with a nigga, bro. It's just like they not gonna put their pride aside. Well, that's that that's what kills niggas' success nowadays. Well, it's pride. Putting your pride aside is like a, is probably the biggest type of growth you could like have. Like that spiritual growth, fam. Um, that's like putting negative energy. You gotta have that mindset. Like, once you bring positivity around you, you see positive things happening. So it's just like when you full of negative energy and stuff, bro. You go, everything's gonna be negative, fam. Um, people. Him and Gio gotta go up. back and make some they make some videos, negative, man. Ugly. Him, Nate. Situations when you had to put your pride to the side. I mean, me smoking on that backyard like, boogie. What's gonna? That what, ain't no tomorrow, pressure. Still gonna be tomorrow, no fam. pressure. Like, why not just make peace throughout the world, fam? It's just like nobody killed nobody. You feel me? It it, it, it it's nothing too personal, fam. I just feel like, and if we if we could take it back to the video situation, fam. Like, this is how I felt. I kind of didn't want to post it, but I'm going to tell you something. If I lost the fight, fam, just know he had a camera as well. So he was going to post it regardless, fam. Like, you came with your intentions. So I watched the fight. It was a great fight, too. But Great fight. Like I said, man, I think we could put that behind us. I think, you know, we can move forward from that. And that's just that. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so did you and Bree talk after the breakup, no. Like I put this on everything. That's my first time. Like we, I cut her off. Like for three months, we didn't talk at all. And then, like I said, bro, there's part of me that was like, bro, I don't gotta hate. Like I don't have to hate no one. You feel me? So it's just like kindness came out and doors opened. Okay. All right. So, so would you ever take Diamond back? When she gets everything back together. Oh, you asking good questions, but this is probably what they want to do because y'all asked that, okay? This is what y'all asked. He picked the questions up. But, nah, man. I wouldn't take her back, honestly. You feel me? And Something wrong with like Diamond. I, I ain't going to lie to you. So when I fell in love Something wrong love with, with somebody, you feel me? At, for the first time, it, it's like a hard love, you feel me? So I feel like when I was younger, I was just, so, like, trapped in my mind. But as I got older, fam, I noticed, like, I could do things like... <clears throat> mm -mm. Hold on, hold on, hold on. But look, 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 we can keep speaking. But as I got older, I feel like we could do things... Like, I could do things on my own. Like, basically, I probably felt like I missed her so much because I felt like I needed her back then because we posted so many videos I felt like she was a big part of my business so it was just like losing her was like part of like losing my business but then as I got into myself as I like kept going I noticed I could do this myself fam and it's just like I just seen so much more that my like my I don't know my head's just different now fam so that's just how I feel but you feel me I I talked to her, you feel me? It's, it's nothing to be her friend, but they didn't. You're not I'm no relationship. Talk to her. We're done here. <laughs> With Bree, we, I'm going to tell you something. With Bree, Bree's probably like one of the most like 
I ain't gonna lie, Breeze, like, she probably was the best girl to me. Like, somebody actually cared for me. And I don't really see that from a lot of people, so you feel me? But we... It don't, it don't know, come like that no talking, more. You know, we took a break from it. Ever. things were toxic. But, you know, life just gotta go on. And whatever happens, happens. You know, I ain't, I ain't, you know. You know, I feel you. Okay, so, so what were the differences between Breeze, relationship, relationship with you and that relationship? What was the difference between the relationship with... Free and diamond. I felt like I was actually loved in one more in one relationship more than the other. Well, like I felt like one relationship was real, one was not. You can feel it. You can feel it. Dudes can feel the fake. You so feel you me? Elaborate more. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you which was which. Okay. So I'll tell you which was which too. I tell you I'm gonna be honest with y'all. But what I do you want to? <laughs> How's it? Yeah, we good? We, we rolling good, Andre? We here? Okay, okay. We are here. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Y'all got me drinking water for this one. So, I ain't gonna lie, the one that I feel like was real was with Bree, because I feel like y'all think Bree's like very, like a, like a very mean person, but she actually was very caring. Like, she was very, like, you know, What's the word called when somebody is like very affectionate. yeah affectionate? She was very clean, clingy, and I like the angle, like you feel me. But on the other hand, it's just like too much arguing. With Diamond, when we was younger, I felt like it's just like now that I look at it, I felt like it was just for YouTube. Like I just feel like, and plus y'all know angle, like y'all probably don't know she was the one who cheated on me. So mm. it's like that's why I feel like. And it was with with her ex, so you feel me? That's why I'm saying I feel like that whole relationship was fake. It was just like she was still in love with him, but things were working online with me. You get it? Yeah. So that's just why I feel like that's why one relationship really wasn't. But I told you I, back then I thought the relationship was so important to me because it was business. But now that I look at it, you're not supposed to mix business with friendships or relationships. So Business with pleasure. Say so pleasure. You You're not whatever, supposed to mix business oh, with pleasure. Do a video with both of them. You feel me? Probably he was sticking her, doing and videos like with could, her, they could put loving her, going aside. out to eat. And I ain't gonna lie, they actually did. To be honest, like I feel like you know, y'all should know this, bro. But they DM'd each other and they apologized. You feel me? And I know because they told me, but. I just feel like, like I said, that's that's putting your pride aside. That's another spiritual growth, and and that's exactly what they did, bro. You release negative put some, energy. Put your you pride aside. Throw that shit. What do you say, Jay Z said on uh song cry? Yeah. I mean, I feel like she just has to have her own way, bro. Like, like, how do I say this, fam? Like, I don't like girls that just give everybody attention and this and that. Like, I feel like you just got to be about me. I ain't going to lie, to be honest. And you got to be about your stuff as well. Got to be about your shit, too. Somebody that wants a family that's caring, because I'm a family person. You know, I want kids. You know, I want I, I want to have a I want to have a nice life. <laughs> a non-toxic girl. They all toxic. Yeah, can yeah, you can't get away from the toxic and the retardness. Yeah, you can't get away from none of that. That's what they is. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna tell nothing but the truth. A perfect, it's no such thing as a perfect lady. It's no such thing as a perfect girl. I think it ain't. We gotta be good too, though. And then the girl's gonna be good too for me. So mm. that's what it is. You can't put all your trust in a female. So how do I keep doing a dirty. relationship? To be honest, I feel like honesty. And once you're honest with somebody, I feel like that's when everything's going to be healthy. Honest. But honest I mean, doesn't mean, oh, you go do something, then you get to tell them. No, honestly, honesty and loyalty. Like Tell them beforehand. And that's just what it is, bro. That's I me. feel like things don't get better. Before you go do it, tell me. Because that's where toxic comes from. It's like... When if I smoke this blunt, girl, I'm going to forget you. And, and I just feel like that's when arguments come in and insecurities. And then you get it. It just goes on from there. I don't love no thoughties. Would you ever start streaming? Would I ever start streaming? Uh, I don't. 
I don't really like to go live too much because sometimes I feel like things get awkward. But I like to make like quality videos. Like I like to plan my videos. Yeah. No real shit like film. <laughs> you laughing over here. Like no disrespect to nothing, but I like to plan my videos and just like something that everybody in the world could watch. Something that you know videos like videos that I drop today that 10 years from now are still great to people right. is there any collaboration you would like to you know you do in two, uh, coming in 2022 mm. any collaborations J Wonder Poppy Dot Willie Lil Jeff Man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I feel like the best collabs are with my friends. Like, it's just like it's me. It's it's not me forcing myself to 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 be with other people. It's just like I feel like we make the best content together because it's just real. Like everybody's really laughing. Everybody's really enjoying the moment. Like you know, I don't know. I don't know how other people personally are. You feel me? And that's a big thing, bro. Like once this is what I'm telling you from that first relationship, I learned. You don't, like, I don't know, bro. It matters how people personally are, bro, to, like, really get a good vibe off of them. Yeah, and, and, and so hard. made off vibes, bro. So if everybody's vibing correct, well, I think, you know, things things. You gotta be a good vibe, man. But, you know, as Especially far as for me YouTube to do a thing, video with you. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was surprised. Everybody there was humble. They was vibing. I'm coming with you know, the energy. It was, a, a good, it was a good experience. And the vibe, you feel me? Yeah. All right, so last question. Mm. What's your next goal? What's my next goal? Four million subscribers. Four million subscribers. And somebody probably will say, why not five? And why not this? Because you got to treat life as steps, bro. It's like you don't just go from the first step to the to the top step, bro. You got to climb up. And you got to be realistic. That's how you chase your goals. You feel me? So if we if we break down a big goal into increments, Throughout 10 years, you know, we could get very far. So, 4 million. And I just want to, you know. In, in 2022? Like, I actually want to, like, create. 2 mil? In a year? Like, like, really great videos. But look, before we do end this, I ain't gonna lie, thank you guys for the journey of 2 million. That's 2 million people we inspired. So, Everybody behind the cameras and stuff, I want to thank y'all. Look, man, let's keep going. Y'all subscribe. Appreciate y'all for watching. Hey, we out of here! You feel me? That's how these niggas build. You love, dog. It's about opening the fair eyes and bring them in. You right here with me this whole ride. You gonna watch me get this shit. You gonna watch me hustle. You gonna watch me blow. You gonna help me blow. You know what I'm saying? Look, bitch, we grinding right now.